I just want to let everybody know the reason why we're in the problem. Dylan had laid it out earlier in that other video, but this gets more to the point even. Here's Barack Obama, and here's why we have Donald Trump. Because people were so desperate and so sick and tired of George Bush and Dick Cheney, and they wanted, they wanted health care, they wanted a functioning banking system, they wanted a living wage, they wanted stuff that their government was supposed to bring to them, and Barack Obama did this instead. Uh, my policies are so mainstream that you know, if, if I had said the same policies that I have back in the 1980s, uh, I'd be considered a moderate Republican. I mean, you know, uh, what I believe in is... It is fucking over regular people. And um, <laughs> so that, so did you ever see that videotape? No, no, I haven't. Yeah, actually. well, welcome to the Jimmy Dore yeah, Show. Yeah, nice to be, nice to be in the loop, yeah. in the loop. So American people have never seen this. Like people who don't watch my show. I mean, this was, I think, for a foreign uh, television show. So Americans have never seen this unless they watch my show. And so that's the real problem. And now we and have... Joe Rogan and Tulsi are both Americans. Oh. So they are Americans who've seen the show. Oh, that's right. That's right. Americans who have seen the show. Right. Yeah. Right. But, right. And... Um, <laughs> So, you know, you don't see a lot of chemistry like this. It really clicks the way we're clicking. There's never an awkward moment the way we know. We, like we finish each other's sentences in the wrong way. And, um, exactly. So that's the problem. And then you have millionaire journalists. I showed you this last week. Here's Jonathan Capehart. Reminders that Democrats, who cares if the eventual nominee only meets 80%, heck, 50% of your checklist. Evicting Trump should be the most important item on that checklist. Now, that's obviously a millionaire who doesn't have any problems because he doesn't give a fuck about what Democrat runs against Trump because he doesn't have any problems. And this guy says, I'd vote for a turd with the D beside the name. And this guy says, my guess is you already have. <laughs> So that's, to me, that's the problem. So that's to, so, and that's all they have left. They forget that's how we got Trump. In fact, I tweeted this out. Chelsea's host is schooled by, t ch Tulsi schools a CBS host. And then underneath he goes, Tulsi has no shot, a wasted vote, and a vote for Trump. That is a fact. So now voting for who you want in the primary? You can't even fucking vote for who you want to in the primary? <laughs> I want it I, now. I can't vote. I have to vote for Joe Biden in the primary, or I'm voting for Trump. Can you believe people say that kind of stuff? The leverage of the mono political monopoly is sickening. Yes, it is. And now on to Bill Maher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. So now, I want to get the panel's uh, opinion on this. Bill Maher only follows 39 people. And now, why, does, why would you get on Twitter and only follow 39 people? Because you're a douchebag who thinks that that makes you look cool because look how I have a million people following me and I'm so uninterested in everyone. I only follow 39 people and let me tell you something, those are the coolest fucking 39 people in the world because Bill Maher follows them. You know who's cooler than Maher? Who? Dennis Snowden. Miller. Snowden. Oh, Edward Snowden, he only he follows, follows one. one per Well, it's a little different with Ed Snowden. And he's got I know it is, but I, 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 think the know, I haven't said anything for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the government... <laughs> the CIA is not trying to take down Bill Maher. In, in fact, he, gets, he probably gets a bonus. He probably gets a bonus check, is right. Yeah, whoever said that, I'm with you. So he, I'm gonna play this whole thing, and we're gonna stop and start it. And this is Bill Maher doing his version of Jonathan K. Parts. You suck it, vote Democrat, suck it. You got, watch, watch, this is actually worse. Now, there's a lot of solid jokes in here. Now, I'm not gonna say that what he's saying isn't solid comedically, because it is. He has a lot of writers. He's got great writers. Bill's got great writers. Yep, true. And most of the time he knows he can deliver a joke, most of the time. Uh, so here we, so uh, and this time he does. So watch this, watch this. And finally, new rules. Someone must explain to Democrats what binary means. In America, we've got dozens of flavors of pretty much everything. Doritos and Gatorade, Oreos, Pepsi, Triscuits, Pop-Tarts. But we only have two political parties. Most democracies have a parliamentary system with many parties. We don't. Now, you think that would piss him off, but it doesn't. 
He just accepts it and gets pissed off at you if you don't 100% accept this bullshit system. Watch this. We don't. Clap, clap, and, clap, clap. And his, that's called, talk about sheer business. His audience is like, yay, only two parties. Clap, yay. clap, clap, clap. Isn't bah, that? Bah. <laughs> that's sheep, that's a sheep. <laughs> With us, it's always plain or peanut. <laughs> now that's a good joke. That's a good joke, but what I would like to say is, I think it's more fascist and fascist light. I like Carter lately. Lately? Yeah. I like when he deregulated the trucking industry. That was fantastic how he did that. Did he? Yeah. All right. Well, I said lately. <laughs> We're on the same team, Jimmy. <laughs> Cream or suppository, that's what we... That is what binary means. Trump gets it. If you really like Donald Trump, that's great. But if you don't, you have to vote for me anyway. Whether you love me or hate me, you gotta vote for me. The question Democrats must ask themselves is, what would make a voter say, Trump's right, I don't like him, but I have no choice. Well, let's go down the list. So, but what, what's crazy, A, is that Bill thinks that tr Trump is right, that you got nowhere else to go. Like, to me, that's crazy that we only have two parties in the United... Hey, if you don't like me, you're fucked anybody. T t anyway, that, to me, that's the crazy thing. But that's not crazy to Bill Maher, a millionaire for the last 30 years who doesn't have any real problems that government can solve. So watch what he does. What is crazy to him? Bernie Sanders says we should let the Boston Marathon bomber vote. Why? Is there a great clamoring to give deranged serial killers more of a voice in civil society? No, Bill, uh, there isn't. But what there is is called a racist criminal justice system in the United States that over-polices brown and black people and incarcerates them at way higher rates than other people. It's called the new Jim Crow, which is how they've been disenfranchised because once you're in prison, you can't vote anymore. So now we're disenfranchising poor brown and black people in the same way they did in the 50s and 60s with Jim Crow. We're just not calling in that. So Bernie actually has a forward-thinking solution to that problem that enfranchises people who have been disenfranchised from our criminal racist justice system and now we have a way to fix it you fucking asshole by the way i would pay a lot of money to see you debate mar yeah. well i'm not a good debater but uh, uh thank you but i don't think it would it doesn't again i don't have to be smarter or a better debater than bill maher at because I'm on the right side of the issues. That's why it's right. very easy to take down a guy like Bill Maher because I'm right, that's why. And it doesn't take intelligence, it just takes a moral center. That's all it takes, and I've got one, right? Because I don't have $30 million yet, and once I do, I will fuck everyone over. I'm no better than Bill Maher, I'm corruptible. <laughs> Thank you for the warning. I'm just, and nobody's made an offer yet. As soon as somebody makes a fucking offer, I am on it. <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm an insider. All right, so here we go. Is Hannibal Lecter thinking, I love Trump for his narcissistic personality disorder, but Sanders really gets voters like me. <laughs> now, I'm sure you can make an argument for this, but we're trying to win an election here, and this just feeds into what Trump is selling. Democrats are now the party of crazy politicians. Crazy Democrats, they're crazy, they're crazy. Hey Democrats, don't make him believable on that and you win. Uh, that's not true, Bill. Yeah, so what he's saying is all the Democrats have to do is not be crazier than Trump. Oh, you mean we need to run like maybe a centrist? Somebody's a centrist. God, if only we could run an experiment where we ran a centrist against Donald Trump. If only we could see what that, oh my God, we already fucking did that. And we lost. 
So this is what he said. So his big political and uh, his and ca campaign strategy, electoral strategy, is just don't offer people anything. Don't uh, address any of the needs in this country where 80% of the workers live paycheck to paycheck and 30 million Americans don't have. Don't actually address any problem. Just be less crazy. That's what Hillary Clinton did, Bill. And the only kind of people who advocate for that kind of electoral strategy are people who are fucking doing great right now. And that's what Bill Maher is and everybody on his show. They're all doing great. Again, when was the last time he had on a union worker on his show? Never. When was the last time he had somebody on his show who wasn't worth a million dollars? Never. So that's what we're deal with. Anybody else want to jump in before I go? No, I think you covered it. Okay, thank you. So there's more, there's more, there's more. And the fucking way his crowd goes nuts over this shit, it, it tears my heart right. I, it's just like, oh. How about you, Eddie? Does it bother you? I, yeah, I fucking, it's so, the, the Hollywood liberals shit, the phony liberals yeah. in Hollywood are really fucking disgusting, <laughs> you know? Because they're the ones who reject my material. You know? <laughs> All right, here we go, more of this. Elizabeth Warren has not come out in favor of imprisoned serial killers voting, but she does want taxpayers to cover their sex change operations in prison. Which brings up the question, if you tried, could you come up with a policy with more third rail buzzwords in it? <laughs> Let's see, taxpayer funded sex change for prisoners. No, I don't think you could. Oh, let me try. Uh, how about taxpayer, taxpayer funded bailout for Wall Street billionaires? Ha! I think I fucking did it. <laughs> how about that? How about that? Oh, and we're gonna talk about it. Thank you for it. It's coming. It's coming. Okay. And, <laughs> and by the way, he's pretending like these are the platforms these people are running on. Okay, so Bernie, he doesn't lead with, let's let the, the Boston bomber vote. That's not yeah. what happened. Bernie says, let's let the incarcerated vote because it's ridiculous to take their vo vote away from them, and we all know it. So and then someone goes, what, you made the Boston bomber? You think he should vote? And his, what he should have said was, hey, fuck you. <laughs> Everybody gets to fucking vote. That's what he should have said, but he did. He's like, well, I don't know what he said. He probably said uh, Joe Biden's a good friend of mine, and uh, <laughs> so here we you go. Are so the that's tank. the disingenuousness of Bill Maher, right? All right. Anything you want to say? No. All right. Here we go. Where are the votes in this? You know how many transgender people there are in federal prison in America? Four hundred and seventy-three, and they can't vote. So we're taking this position because. But first of all, Bill, I just love that. Uh, hey, intern, look up how many transgendered people are in prison. Why? Because Bill, rich guy Bill, wants to shit on them a little bit or something. <laughs> There's, he's got to punch down at least one time during a comedy bit. And here he is. He's picked out the transgenders to shit on. That's the problem with America. It makes a great campaign slogan. <laughs> Commit a crime, get a free dick. <laughs> Not a bad joke. Not a Commit a crime and your new vagina is free! Not a bad joke. Let's imagine a slightly different scenario. You're a progressive voter who likes Elizabeth Warren. Or you're a vegetarian who likes barbecue. <laughs> you drive a Prius, hate guns, and buy kale in bulk. Again, these are but okay jokes. But you find out that Warren does not support taxpayer-funded gender reassignment surgery for convicts. So, that's it? <laughs> Deal breaker, you're voting for Trump now? <laughs> of course not! This is the binary thing Democrats don't get. Because apparently they never saw the movie An Officer and a Gentleman, where a drill sergeant forces Richard Gere to admit the same truth that Democratic voters need to face. I got nowhere else to go! <laughs> yes! Yes. Yes, two rich white guys laughing about that our democracy is a sham. <laughs> oh, that's gold, Bill. That is fucking gold. 
<laughs> me and Donnie Douche are sitting around laughing our heads off <laughs> at how fucked our political system is. Donnie Douche, the guy who said he'd vote for Trump if Bernie was the nominee. <laughs> oh, that's right, yeah. Well, and then yeah. earlier in that segment, he said something like, oh, my parents worked hard so that I could buy the health care I want, so screw everybody else. Like, really? He, yeah, he said that like earlier in that segment. Donnie Deutsch said that? I mean, those weren't his exact words, I'm paraphrasing. But yeah, <laughs> they kind of were. That was the theme, yeah. No, I mean, that was basically it. Right. Yeah. And so, Dylan, now you know these people better than I do. Now, do, like when a Donnie Deutsch says that I'm going to vote for Donald Trump if Bernie is the nominee, wow. he, does, how many people does he speak for, you think, in that in that liberal class? I, you know, not that many. Really? Yeah. Don't you think they'd but rather... It's not about the number of people, it's about the amount of money. Right, so that maybe he only speaks for us. Remember, they raise more political money walking around in the East 60s. So if you're, you're running for president, yeah. you can either fly to 37 different states in the United States, Colorado, Wyoming, Nevada, go nuts, and you can get every penny of every dollar of every political contribution made for every politician in that entire state... For you, which is a decent amount of travel, a lot of chicken dinners, a lot of false promises, a lot of lies, a lot of things you're going to have to do there. Or you can just walk around in the East 60s. You mean an upper... Same amount of money, yeah, in, in Manhattan. In Manhattan. That's what you where mean. I, where, I, where I work, in the park. <laughs> like, like if, if you, you go off the park there, that's where they keep all the money. <laughs> so that's where... So that's where all but the... So, but I mean, all jokes aside, right. it's not about the number of people that that conversation, whether it's the, that represents, it's the amount of resources that that, com, com, oh, that, that I got you. money right. is speech, my friend. That's Corporations right. are people, my friend. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So, and because the moneyed class represents that sentiment, the budget to finance that belief is high, which is wicked. Okay. Corporations are people is what they say, right? My yeah. friend. Because, You're supposed to say my friend. My friend. Because <laughs> I dated... And NBC, what a piece of ass. I don't know, I just thought that was funny. Go ahead, go back to your little Bill Maher thing. You hear that, Bernie and Elizabeth and Beto and the rest of them? They got nowhere else to go. So you can stop wearing your most divisive issues on your sleeve. Target sells condoms and lube, but they don't call it the condom and lube store. <laughs> they hide that shit in the back in a locked case and call themselves Target. That's, again, good joke, totally misses the point. He's not, he's fucking, he's bull, he's, again. Have you ever seen people cheer that we only have two parties in the system to work with? And Pete said, yes, two parties! We're so, so fucked all the... Well, you could go to Norway. They have seven parties. We're so fucked. You know what really pisses me off is that he actually... The comedy is good. Like the you comedy say, is good. And to use comedy... Right, to push to corporatism. To these fucking assholes. The system. He's using yeah, comedy to prop up a two-party yeah. system. Yeah. Comedy should be used what you're doing, you know, subversive. To That's undermine it. Yes. Undermine the fucking system. This Thank entire, you. This Burn it! Well, you Burn know what down. I'm saying. <laughs> what you want no, to say? Like, this entire segment could have just been called Contrarian for no reason whatsoever. Yes. Right, yeah. That could have been this entire segment, like the theme that he's Well, this is here. more of you just, we, you got to vote for a Democrat, and that's, mm. the, and that's our winning strategy. Watch, it gets worse. Watch. Which, frankly, is not much better. <laughs> Point is, instead of trying to make the people on the far left double dog like you, make some good people in the middle not hate you. People talk. Some good people in the middle. Good people in the middle. So, because the people on the far left are assholes, but the people in the middle, they're the good people. <laughs> what the fuck? Is he tied on again? I just plead, someone help me. He only follows 39 people. He doesn't know what anyone's <laughs> up to. <laughs> people talk a lot in this country about identity politics. Here's some identity for you. Only 46% of Democrats identify as liberals. Yeah, life doesn't end east of La Brea. Again, good joke, but Bill, I'm ac I actually am literally east of La Brea right now. <laughs> and I can tell you from over here, we still think you're a piece of shit who's fucking out of touch. <laughs> East of La Brea, 
you're a fucking millionaire who doesn't know his asshole from a hole in the ground, and it's dumb thinking like you that got us Trump. And we'll get another one, and you'll probably blame Susan Sarandon or Molly Ringwald or somebody else with no money and no fucking power while you make another $10 million telling people to suck a dick and vote blue no matter who. Well, I say fuck you and fuck your show, because this one's better. <laughs> And let me also say, 42% of the country consider themselves independents, Bill. Yeah, 26% of the country calls themselves a Democrat. So get your head out of your fucking bubble, you asswipe, because most of the people in the country aren't Democrats. In fact, the biggest voting block are people who don't vote, 100 million people. The next biggest voting block are independents, which 50% of them, according to a Harris poll, still approve of Donald Trump. Three years of Donald Trump and Democrats resisting and 50% of independents still approve of him. That's a failure of people like you, the liberal class, the corporate media, and the Democratic Party. That's who's failing. It's not people who are transgendered or people who want to vote when they're in prison. The people who are failing is the liberal class like you, Bill. Thank you very much. So the, I like what the Oracle says. My family is struggling to keep up with this crazy $9,000 a month plus medical costs of keeping my sister with multiple sclerosis alive and comfortable without all of us ending up homeless. That's what we are seriously struggling with, Medicare for all. That's her response to Bill Maher, and I'm with the Oracle. There you go. Okay. <laughs> does it not dawn on these people, you think, Dylan, that... It 100% doesn't even exist. They can't comprehend of what the reality is. I mean, even, you know, like Sophia, I, my experience is more similar to theirs than yours, albeit with less money than those two particular people likely have or less celebrity than uh, certainly Bill has. And it, 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 it's only because I made the choice eight years ago to walk out of that building and become an independent business person myself, not for six months, not doing you know, a media thing, but building an infrastructure business in Louisiana with the staff. I mean, all these things where I myself am vastly more aware, I would say, of the absurdity of the fact that there's not a national health care system in this country. Yeah. And the absurdity of the fact that health care is in any way associated with employment. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I mean, it, it, the mere fact that you're like, oh, I got a good job and now I got health care. You're like, and I'm wearing shoes, so now I can fly an airplane, I think. Like, what does having a job have to do with you having health care? It shouldn't have anything. It, it, it's, it's... So, and the problem with, after, after things like this, after people are struggling with $9,000 in medical bills every month, Nancy Pelosi says this. What do you tell Democrats who want a new direction? And, and then go to you, what are you going to do differently? Well, I don't think that hurts. people want a new direction. Our values unify us. People don't want a new direction. That's after they just lost to Trump. People don't want a new direct. So again, that you're, this is exactly what Dylan said. They're so out of touch. She has no idea that Medicare for all is even important. And I want to tell Bill, I want to show Bill Maher this real fast. So if you want to know what the problem is, Bill, it's not the fact that Democrats have to swallow it and vote blue no matter who, because they got nowhere else to go. Because when they got nowhere else to go, you know where they go? They go nowhere. They stay on their couch, which is when, when New York Times went to Milwaukee after the election and they wanted to know why they didn't vote for Hillary Clinton. They were fucking proud that they didn't vote for Hillary Clinton. By local standards, it was a disappointment, the lowest turnout in 16 years. And the no-shows were important because Mr. Trump won the state by just 27,000 voters. The biggest drop was here in District 15, a stretch of fa fading wooden homes, sandwich shops, and fast food restaurants that is 84% Black. In this district, voter turnout declined by almost 20% from the 2012 figures, according to Neil Albrecht. Okay. It, it is home to some of Milwaukee's poorest residents. And according to 2016 documentary, Milwaukee 53206, it has one of the nation's highest per capita incarceration rates. At Upper Cuts, a bustling barbershop in green-trimmed wood ho wooden house, talk of politics inevitably comes back to one man, Barack Obama. Mr. Obama's elections infused many here with a feeling of connection to national politics that had never been before experienced. But their lives have not gotten appreciably better, and sourness has set in. 
We went to the beach, said Manan Sabir, 38, an owner of the Juice Kitchen, a brightly painted shop a few blocks down West North Avenue, using a metaphor to describe the emotion after Mr. Obama's election. And then eight years happened. They went to the beach and eight years happened. All four barbers who had voted for Barack Obama, but only two could muster the enthusiasm to even vote this time. And even then, it was sort of a protest. One wrote in Mrs. Mrs. Clinton's Democratic opponent, Bernie Sanders, and the other wrote in himself. <laughs> so of the four people who even bothered to vote, of the two people who even bothered to vote, they didn't even vote for Hillary Clinton. So this is what Bill Maher cannot get through his head is that if you don't give people something to vote for, they're not going to vote. He goes, I was so numb, said John Tony, Jan Tony, 45, who had written in Mr. Sanders. He said no president in his lifetime had done anything to improve the lives of black people, including Mr. Obama, whom he voted for twice. It's like I should have known this would happen. We're worse off than before. They admitted that they could not complain too much. Only two of them had voted, but there were no regrets. I don't feel bad, Mr. Fleming said, trimming a mustache. Milwaukee is tired. Both of them were terrible. They never do anything for us anyway. One exception was Justin Babar, who said he voted for Mr. Trump as a protest against Mrs. Clinton, who blamed her husband's policies for putting him in prison for 20 years. As for the claim of racism that has dogged Mr. Trump, Mr. Babar wasn't so worried. It's better than smiling to my face, but going going behind closed doors and voting against our kids. So that's a guy who'd rather deal with a racist who knows he's a racist than someone who says they're not and then does the crime bill, which puts you in prison for 20 years. Or does NAFTA, which takes the knees out from underneath your union, right? Or does the, does, deregulates Wall Street, which hurts brown and black people more than fucking anybody. Or I could go on and on and on. Or the bankruptcy bill that Joe Biden pushed through that fucks over poor people who have medical problems. I could go on and on and on. And that's what Bill Maher doesn't understand, is that this country isn't working for those people and they're not going to get off their couch or out of their barber chair and vote for shitty Democrats anymore. That's how it's going to get you Trump again, you fucking out of touch millionaire. This isn't a Rubik's Cube if I can figure it out, right? If I can figure this out, it's not a Rubik's Cube, right? I'm a guy who smokes pot when he gets up in the morning and I can figure this out. The problem is Bill also smokes pot when he gets up in the morning and he obviously can afford better shit. <laughs> Our next live Jimmy Dore show is November 5th in Buffalo, New York, November 17th in Philadelphia, and December 27th in Honolulu. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all of our live shows and become a patron or a Jimmy Dore show member at jimmydorecomedy.com slash join and uh, support the show. We give you hours of bonus content every week. Thanks for your support.